Hello, Joe Gill here again, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about something, uh, something different, and I'm killing two birds with one stone. Basically, I'm going to be talking about uh, Honduras, but it's the island that's off of uh, called Roatan. R-O-A-T-A-N, Roatan, and I'm going to be talking about Coz Cozumel. What's different is a mode of transportation. The reason why I'm talking to uh, uh, talking to you about two entirely different locations is because of my is how I got there. Basically, I went there via cruise ship. Yes, this was back in 2012 in I believe August. Um, I took a Western Caribbean cruise and went to the Cayman Islands, Cozumel, uh, Belize in Belize City, and uh, Roatan. It went out of Miami. Uh, I'm not sure of the ship, but um, yes, yes. Like I said, I'm a resourceful, horny little bastard. That even going on a cruise, you can, uh, if you can get away, um, if you can get away for a while, um, you can run off. And even though you're at, you know, normally, typically on cruises, you're only at a, at ports of call for a few hours, like eight to ten hours, usually, like six seven in the morning till five or six at night but yes I, again i did this on my own uh going on a cruise completely by yourself is not really something i recommend the only reason why is because of the price typically the way what what how cruises are designed they're not designed to sell sell rooms they want to sell people so say like you want to go like on a discount you know when you get the lower decks i don't know if you're familiar with cruising they have the two bunk beds well, and they charge like, you know, say like, oh, you can go on this cruise for the cruise only. It's like five hundred, six hundred dollars for a seven day cruise. And that's by the way, this was a seven day cruise. Well, you know, you figure they sell four people to a room. And they charge each person six hundred bucks. That's twenty four hundred dollars they get for the room. Um, me, I basically booked um, more of a suite. So I had to pay for my my fee then I'd pay half half another person's fee. They typically like to at least book two people to a room. So if you go on your own and you want to travel cheaply uh, on the lower decks, you might put in to have like uh, a roommate, uh, which is what I did on my first cruise and all that. But other than that, um, it's up to you if you want to. So I, I didn't mind splurging, so, so I, spent, um, I spent the extra money anyway. On with this thing. Um, uh, basically, Cozumel I'll cover first. Um, oh shoot, I was gonna draw a picture. Um, hold on a second. <clears throat> basically, um, right when you get out, right when you get off the ship in Cozumel, there's a street. There's an area, and there's a uh, street, and then um, another side street, and like here's here's the ship basically, and then uh, the off ramp in the courtyard area. Um, basically, uh, it's like right within walking distance. Uh, there's one location there. Um, so right. So right when you get off the street, see you got the cruise ship here, my crew, and then there's a little walking area, and then this is like backwards though. Um, you get off and you're facing this way. You're facing this way. That's actually making a left, and then there's a street right here. Um, you just walk down to the next block, and there's a street. Um, you turn down that street and you go about a hundred feet, and there's like two, uh, like kind of go-go bars or restaurants, strip bars. That's where I went. Um, I went uh, and was, uh, I guess, was with a girl. So that's the nice thing about Cozumel. It was just like right there, um, uh, right there within walking distance, not no more than a five five minute walk. And then, see, so you got the cruise ship here. And if you go across the street, and that's, although I'm pointing to the left, that's, if you turn the photo around, if you turn my picture around, you go right. So you go out, and then you go to the right. And there's another one just right across the street, like not even a, a three-minute walk. 
It's just directly across the street from the cruise ship once you get off in Cozumel. Um, that place, I found out about that place. That place opens, I think, later, so I didn't end up going to it. Now, the price, it's a little bit steep, and I'm thinking the reason why it's cheaper than um, mainland Mexico, I mean, excuse me, more expensive than mainland Mexico is because Cozumel, it's, it's just a, a, reg, a small island off the, which is an offshoot of um, where Cancun is. Uh, it's the island that's off of Cancun. Anyway, to get to the point, you're going to pay like $120. You're basically going to pay like $100, $120, bucks, but you'll get in an hour an hour and pretty much if anything goes with with the gal and all that so um anyway <clears throat> you're gonna get an hour and that's basically um Cozumel now Roatan Roatan is, is a bit different um I didn't do too much research. You can go on um, online and research uh, Cozumel, and it will tell you um, if you do like Google searches and all that. Uh, do search engine searches with it, you know, it will tell you. Roatan something different. I did it. Uh, I think I did just Roatan old school. What I did is I walked off the boat, and there looked like a, an island work and a, a local worker from the island who was wearing the carnival cruise garb. And he had like a sign. I kind of pulled him aside and I said, "Hey, um, do you know any place, or do you do you know any place, or do you know where I can go into town or go wherever and hook up with a chick? You know, find a girl. You know, find a little, you know, boom boom, a little uh, El Joyo de Sexo, so to speak. You know." And he said, yeah, 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 you know, I just got to be discreet, you know, I don't want Carnival, because he was actually working for Carnival, and da 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 da, -da. he's all, let me call somebody, I know somebody who will take care of you, so he called the guy who was a cab driver, and then um, he'll set you up, he knows to some places. He actually did try to take me to a couple of places, but they were closed, it was like 10 o'clock in the morning. Like I said, on a cruise ship, you, you, you don't really have much time, so none of the places were opened up. So what he eventually did, he actually called the chick that he knew. He says, oh, I, I know of a girl that will, that does this, that, you know, I can hook you up with. So he hooked me up and she was, she was okay. She was decent looking. She was young. She was like 23 years old. And uh, that only cost me like about maybe 50, uh, $60. Um, I, of course, paid him for the cab. I don't recall the taxi, fare, you know, being too much. Um, he took me to a place. Um, I don't recall there ever being a fee or maybe he included the fee in the room where he took me. It was safe. I didn't really have any problems. And, um, you know, I went and did the deed and then I was with her for about 45 minutes. I think I gave her, I think I gave her 60 bucks. I'm not sure how much I paid her 50, 60 or something like that for 40 minutes or 45 minutes. And uh, it was all right. It went pretty. Um, it went pretty smoothly. But that's uh, upon doing any research beforehand. You, normally, I research a trip beforehand and find out the different places. Uh, this one I didn't. I totally just uh, got off the boat. I tried to look into Belize City, and there was um, there was a, a action there, but it was way too far. I tried to, again. I tried to ask around for that. So. It was a no-go in Belize City, but um, uh, that's basically it. Uh, if you're on a cruise, you know, if you ever want to go, um, happen to go on a cruise, maybe like, you know, some family members, you're going with a big party or a big business party or a group thing, a lot of groups going, and they happen to be going to any, um, you know, islands or ports of call that's girl-friendly, and if you can step away for a couple hours and go, go get some, uh, you know, that's... That's how you do it. That's just a, a way how to do it and all that. Anyway, that's it. Coming up next, I have the last the last set of videos I probably will be doing for a while, and it's the last. And I basically saved uh, the best for last, and it was the very first uh, sex trip I took, internet that put me on the map. It's a uh, Soviet Union. So I'll go ahead and announce that. So stay tuned for that. and. I will see you later. Bye for now.